Hi, I'm Greg Sabo with Zabolite, and I want to introduce you to a couple new products for our new year in 2014. We've got a long line of panel lights for location work, our Z1 1x1, our Z2 1x2, our Z3, our 9x9, and a few other variations of those products. For 2014, we've also focused on bringing a much better Fresnel to the market. What I have here in front of me are two products. They're seven inch lens Fresnel lights, but they are bicolor. We've got what we're calling the Z7, and it'll be available in two versions. The shorter version, which is a 200 watt bicolor fixture, and then a longer version, which is around 250 watts. It's got more foot candles, more punch, and a wider flood pattern. You've got a 3200 rheostat and a 5600 rheostat. So I can dial 100% of the 3200 in. I can dim it 50%. I can now dial in 50% of my daylight or 100% of my daylight. I can turn the tungsten off. I can just go daylight and dim. I can almost dim all the way. You know, generally it's 10 to 100%. Now what's very unique about this is if you want more intensity out of the unit and you're not as concerned of the color temperature, you can bring both of them up and create a 4,400 degree color temperature, but double your brightness. So in theory, it's two lights in one, or one big light. And it's a lot of light. It's a lot of light for a small LED fixture. And of course, I got my spot flood. And some of the other things, uh, assign it my channel. Right now it's in one, two, three, four. I can enter that. I can, uh, it's an intelligent right now. I can put it in slave. So now um, it's ready to be controlled by a board somewhere. out of slave mode back to or I can control it at the head and there you have it I mean it's uh, very versatile now to give you a comparison uh, in size uh, I have here a pretty standard fixture an airy light uh, 1000 for now I just wanted to kind of give you an idea. Uh, they are a six inch lens and relatively in size, uh, they're close, but of course this light is lighter, probably about nine and a half pounds. It does do a nice flood spot pattern, but again, it is only one color temperature and it requires a thousand watts of power. And what I'd like to do is just do, it's just a basic demonstration, but to kind of talk about the intensity of this fixture with some kind of comparison to something maybe everyone else knows how bright uh, 1K for now is. So if you give me a second, we're gonna spin these around and we're just gonna take a couple meter readings. We'll position this table at roughly eight feet from this gray wall and uh, we'll take a foot candle reading uh, between our Z7, 200 watt, and this airy uh, 1000 watt fixture. All right, so I've got, uh, I've got my uh, spectra meter to uh, do some foot candle readings. Now, I can only get the light six feet away from the wall just to have enough space in my small little studio to uh, demonstrate this. So I'm going to start out with this airy light and uh, going to make sure that it is full flood, which it is, and we're just going to find that hot spot on that fixture 
and foot candles are coming in around looks around 4300 in the hottest spot of the light uh, the range is anywhere from 3700 maxes out around 4100 foot candles that's full flood uh, six feet away that's a pure 1000 watt airy for now so that range again was from 37 to 4100 foot candles now we're going to come to this 200 watt our, our z7 fixture and i'm going to bring up the tungsten side i'm going to flood it out and obviously it's nowhere near as bright as the monster thousand watt fixture but it is a respectable fairly even pattern of 800 foot candles so it's going anywhere from 830 to 800 foot candles again 200 watts full flood strictly tungsten now if I bring up our daylight So I've got the 32 up all the way and the daylight up all the way. Uh, we're now producing around 1,800 foot candles. And fairly even, anywhere from 1,700 To about 1800 foot candles now that's full flood again we're only talking well you know we're up to about 400 watts of power so essentially 400 watts and a, a, a much nicer color temperature at least in my opinion um, you know leaning more towards daylight uh, 1800 foot candles and the area 1,000 was 37 to 4,200 foot candles, full flood. Now if we just spot this fixture in, just take a quick reading. Uh, we're achieving 4,000, 4,200, 3,800. So, 4,000 to 4,200 foot candles, uh, full spot. So the only way really you're going to match that airy light is, you know, if we spot it in. Um, but the nice thing about it is if you think of the efficiency of that, uh, 400 watts versus 1,000, 1,800 foot candles at 400, if we were to double that, uh, that's 32 um, so you know roughly in line with a thousand watt light as far as uh, efficiency uh, in the sense that two and a half times maybe this fixture would equal a uh, thousand watts so now on our big guy here our 250 let me uh, just dial up the tungsten make sure we're full flood and we'll take another reading and he's about 400 foot candles brighter than the 200 watt version so we're looking at around a thousand 1100 1200 um, so let's see we're, we're averaging around 1100 to 1200 foot candles here uh, on this fixture with just the tungsten and then we crank up add some more add the daylight side to this thing and now we've got a mix and we're up to 2500 3000 slow it down a little bit there 2500 
24. I'm going to average that out between 24 and 2,500 foot candles. Uh, that's full flood. And let's spot it in. A little more range on the spot flood because the light is longer. Uh, gave us more room to uh, add some spot flood. But uh, now you're up to around 5,200 foot candles. 53, 48 as we get out of it. 52, 53, so you kind of get the idea there. So 5,300 foot candles, uh, around 4,400 degrees. Uh, again, spot flood, turn that down. So there's a quick uh, run through, some kind of a comparison for you between a uh, Airy Light 1000 and our 200 watt and 250 watt bicolor Fresnel versions. Couple little things that I wanted to, to show on these fixtures that I didn't talk about, but we get questions. Uh, this is a passive cooling light, meaning there is no fan. So it is cooled internally, either through heat sink or through some tubing and vented out the top. Another little thing that we're working on here is these fixtures are 24 volt, uh, but we're gonna have a battery port. Now, is that really needed? It's hard to say. Um, a lot of our, you know, our location line of panel lights, they're all battery, you know, AC or battery. Uh, so uh, working on um, being able to power this fixture, I, I guess in the sense, you know, since it can be daylight, if you're out in the field uh, and you want some type of uh, portable sun gun or mobile HMI, so to speak, um, I'm going to have a cable that will attach to this port and I'm working on a unique uh, battery pack essentially which will be uh, any of our batteries that you already use on the back of our location lights or the back of your cameras um, which are our 14.4 volt batteries. You'll be able to take those same batteries which you've already bought or intend to buy and clip them on to this power pack. And as long as you clip them on in pairs, uh, you'll create 24 volts. Uh, the power supply or battery adapter will create the 24 volts and power this light. So it'll be very simple. Uh, no, really, no extra batteries to buy, no big battery pack to buy. Essentially, you're just going to buy the uh, device that will convert the batteries to 24 volt and then have the connector to go up to the light. So it's gonna be pretty slick.